Hello my young friends, so as we reported a few days earlier here on filter copy, the JE mains will be conducted four times in calendar year 2021, that is in the months of February, March, April and May and the first edition will start on the 22nd of February 2021 and go on till the 25th of February. So the countdown has begun. Now let me give you the mota mota cover and also get into the specifics to help you understand what it means for each one of the 10 lakh odd students who will take this big ticket entrance examination. Now the NTA believes the National Testing Agency which is organizing these examinations it believes that students will now get multiple opportunities to improve their scores if they fail to do well in the first or the second attempt now what does this mean supposing by chance god forbid your february and perhaps even the march attempt does not go very well you will still have the chance to do better in the april and may 2021 attempt if you decide to appear for all the four attempts okay now the NTA as well as the education ministry, it actually wants to reduce the trend of students dropping a year. That's very significant and they have said it in so many words. So it wants to give maximum opportunities in a single calendar year itself. Basically the idea is to say that if a student is not getting through to the JE mains in two attempts, which is a normal course, right? This time they are giving four attempts. So if that student is not able to get through, even in four attempts, basically the NTA is trying to tell you that you need to move on, try some other course instead of dropping a year, spend another year full of anxiety, worry and doing a whole lot of hard work. Don't do that because what the NTA is doing now from 2021 is to give the attempts which are normally given in two years in one year. जो दो साल में अटेम्प्ट्स मिलते थे उसको अभी एक साल में दिया जाएगा यानी कि दो के बदले चार अटेम्प्ट्स आल्सो द एनटीए थिंक्स एंड दिस इज अनदर पॉइंट दे हैव मेंशनड इट थिंक्स दैट द फेब्रुअरी एडिशन विल बी मोर फॉर स्टूडेंट्स टू एक्सपीरियंस द एग्जामिनेशन एक्सपीरियंस द एग्जामिनेशन लर्न फ्रॉम द मिस्टेक्स दैट दे मेक इन द फेब्रुअरी 22nd टू 25th एडिशन so that they can improve in the March, April and May edition. So do not be disheartened, do not be disappointed if your first attempt in February 2021 does not go off very well. Now this has also been done to ensure that if the board exams and the JE mains exams dates clash, at least the students will have three other choices. Just to take an example, let's assume that the board exams are scheduled for the month of April 2021 and that will make it difficult for the students to take the April edition of the JE mains. It means that at least they will have the Feb, March and May options open for them as far as JE mains is concerned. That is really the idea because this is the first time in so many years, normally hota kya hai that you know exactly when the CBSC, IC, ISC and the state board examinations are going to be held, more or less the period. And the JE exams are scheduled in such a way that they don't clash, both JE as well as NEET, right? But this time, the, we do not even know till now when the board examinations are likely to be conducted, which is why the uh, NTA has come out with this option. Fourth point, the students best of the 2021 NTA scores will be considered for the preparation of the merit list or ranking. Whichever edition, Feb, March, April, May edition, the student scores the best. Uh, now, as far as the application process is concerned and listen to this carefully, you have time till the 15th of January 2021 starting today to submit your application form. Uh, the fee details are given on the NTA website, so please go through them. Basically, it's 650 rupees for male students who want to give just one examination, 325 for females and other categories, 3000 rupees for students outside India. This is, as I said, is for a single examination for in February 2021. The admit cards for the February 2021 examination can be downloaded from the first week of February. The examinations will be in two shifts, 9 to 12 in the morning and 3 to 6 in the late afternoon. Now, candidates can also choose to appear only for the February edition or choose all the four editions together 
in one application form itself. Uh, however, what they will also do is that they will keep the window for applications for submission of applications open for a brief while after the February exams get over for students who want to then apply for the March, April or May examination. So you have both options available to you. At the examination hall, because we are in a COVID uh, atmosphere, you will have to obey, follow all COVID-19 health protocols. That will include things like carrying a sanitizer, also an additional photograph uh, for purposes of at, uh, attendance. Now, the details of this syllabus are given on the website jemain.nta.nic.in. Uh, also, in light of the rationalization by different boards, CBSC, Council for ICSC, ISC and different state boards, the NTA has decided to make a change in the question paper. This is also something we had referred to in our earlier video. And therefore, from 2021, there will be two sections in the question paper. And I will come to that in a bit. The NTA, what it has done is decided, it has decided to provide choice in one section, that is section B, in order to ensure that students do not lose out as a result of the reduction of the uh, class 12 syllabus for physics, chemistry and mathematics. So, as we said, 30 questions instead of 25 questions will be asked. Okay, 20 in section 1 and 10 in section 2. I repeat, 20 in section A and 10 in section B. There will be no choice as far as section A is concerned. In section B, out of the 10, you need to answer only 5. So, it essentially means that it will be 200 into 4 marks, 80 marks from section A and 5 into 4 that is 20 marks in section B. You will have a choice of attempting only 5 questions in section B and there is no negative marking in section B. Okay, So, overall you have to attempt uh, 25 plus 25 plus 25 that is 75 questions, 25 in physics, 25 in maths and 25 in chemistry. I hope the format of the question paper is now clear. Also, very significantly, you will have the choice to attempt the JE mains paper in a regional language as well. English and Hindi will be available at all centers. But if you are a resident, resident of say Telangana and Andhra Pradesh, you can take the examination in the Telugu language. If you are a resident of Bengal, you can take it in Bengali. If you are a resident of Puducherry, Tamil Nadu or Andamans, you can take it in Tamil. But you need to select the language, choose the option of language in the application form itself. Okay, So please take care if you are planning to do that. Now we come to the eligibility. Now that is an important part. Only those candidates who have passed class 12 or the equivalent examination in 2019, 2020 or 21 or those appearing in class 12 in 2021 are eligible to appear in this JE mains examination of 2021. Candidates who have cleared class 12 in 2018 that is two years ago or before or those who are going to appear in the class 12 examination in 2022 are not eligible to appear in this JE mains 2021 examination. I hope this eligibility part is clear. The second eligibility criteria is for the JE advanced of 2021, which many students have been asking about. The minimum academic qualification for appearing in JE advanced 2021, whenever that would be held, most likely in the month of June, uh, is that the candidate must have passed in the final examination of class 12 with at least 75% aggregate marks, 75% aggregate marks, 65% in the case of SC, ST and PWD, people with disabilities. Now, those appearing in these examinations in 2021 can also appear in JE Advanced 2021, assuming that the results of their board examinations will not be out by then provisionally. Okay, on a provisional basis, but these candidates will have to then fulfill the 75% eligibility criteria. That is compulsory as far as JE advanced and thereafter admission to any of the IITs is concerned. Now, how will the percentile score be calculated? Okay, now this is also very important. Now, it is going to be calculated as follows. 100 into 
the number of candidates who appeared in that session that is a particular session okay with raw score equal or equal to or less than the candidate divided by the total number of candidates who appeared in the session okay i'll give it an example for instance if your score is 200 out of 300 in the je mains and 50000 students have also got 200 or less than 200 okay and let's assume that 1 lakh students appeared in that particular session which means it will become 100 into 50000 divided by 1 lakh you get my point that's how your percentile score will be calculated uh, in the case of a tie the final point in the case of a tie the weightage for mathematics is top followed by physics followed by chemistry so uh, these this is the way in the case of a tie the final ranking will be decided so i hope I have made it clear for any doubts please go to the NTA website and understand it clearly but I hope I have made it clear in very simple English as to what this particular NTA press release with regards to J means of 2021 means for all you students. So as I said the countdown has begun fasten your seat belts and get ready for the final leg the last mile of your preparation. All the best to you. God bless you.